Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Sammy here. We are back with a, another follow along workout. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to love this one. This is minimal equipment. All you need is a, a chair. It is low impact and it is no noise and it is a full blown glute activation glute isolation workout. I think you guys are really gonna love this one. And we are also going to change around the workout split than I typically do. So we're really gonna start engaging those glutes from the beginning of the workout, okay? So once again, follow along, repeat this video two more times after you get through it once. And please don't forget to comment and um, definitely, I guess you subscribe and click the uh, thumbs up button, right? Jules is here with me. <laughs> He's being a trooper. Um, but we're getting this workout in. We're gonna crush it. You guys let me know what you think. Definitely save it to a home workout collection because it is definitely one of, gonna be one of your favorites for that round, tight and toned and lifted booty. So, all right, let's jump right in, guys. All right, ladies, we are getting right into exercise. And number one, we are switching it up a bit in this workout and starting with single leg hip thrusts. Um, notice that the reps or the seconds of work will vary among each exercise. First one, you're going to place your upper back rested on a chair or couch, and you're going to push up through that heel that is on the floor, okay? Keep that other leg off of the ground, but I really want you to start engaging and activating that side of your glutes that your leg is on the floor. So push up through your heel, um, lift your pelvis up towards the ceiling, and keep your chin nice and tucked. Right, next up we have the single leg glute bridge. You're going to adjust yourself, put your one heel on a couch or a chair, and that's how you're going to push yourself up by lifting your pelvis up, but all that weight is in that heel on the couch, okay? Keep your chin tucked and your upper back on the floor, and you're going to perform a slight pulse at the top with each rep, okay? So again, you also have to do the other leg. So you guys should be working 45 seconds right now on one leg, and then you're gonna switch legs and perform the other side right away.
up reverse hyper extensions on a couch or a chair. This chair was actually quite comfortable to, to perform this, but you're gonna wanna rest your upper body all the way up to where you're, you'll bend your hips at on a chair or a bench, and you're gonna perform reverse hyper extensions. Yeah, like squeezing your glutes, and the heels of your feet will be leading, going up to the ceiling, guys. But again, that, all of that movement in your lower half is because you're squeezing those glutes of yours, okay? This is one we typically would start with, but I wanted to switch it up, and by this time, you should be really feeling those glutes after those first three exercises, guys. So we're getting right into a, a double pulse sumo chair squat. All right, so you're gonna have a nice wide stance to your legs, toes pointed out, and you're gonna slowly drop yourself down to that chair and perform a little pulse down at the bottom, and then you're gonna come all the way up and squeeze those glutes at the top. That ding means that you guys are performing this move as we speak. And don't forget, this is actually a 60 second long exercise. So nice and slow, engage those muscles. You girls got this. All right, and keep going. Right, our fifth exercise for the workout, 40 seconds on, and don't forget it's each leg. You're going to kind of put, position yourself on the couch or the chair as you would doggy style on the floor. So you're gonna perform a triple leg lift. So you're going to start with a lateral leg lift, diagonal, and then go all the way back into somewhat of a do uh, donkey kick, but with a straight leg. You're going to see a modification here in a second, guys, where you have a bent knee, let's say, you have to do this on the floor or your chair isn't as tall or you're taller than me and your leg hits the floor here is your modification so you're gonna have a bent knee with all three a lateral lateral lift a diagonal lift and then you're going all the way back to where it looks like a donkey kick in that one again 40 seconds on each leg really really feel those glutes girls come on We are finishing up with this duo exercise. This is gonna be glutes, quads, and outer glutes and thighs. So this duo of exercises starts with 20 seconds of a isometric squat with abduction, meaning your knees are going outward, okay? You're on your toes for that one, and you're nice and deep into a squat. 20 After 20 seconds of that, you're going into 20 seconds of a chair seated abduction, and you're gonna let, let rest your hands on the outside of your knees and you're gonna press your hands in so that there is bringing tension to your knees as you lit, bring your knees outward. Does that make sense? You can absolutely use a glute band for this move, but again, I didn't wanna use a glute band for this in terms of equipment, all right? 
So again, 20 seconds of the first move, 20 seconds of the second, and you're gonna perform two rounds of them in this entire circuit, all right? You're going right into it, girls. Go for it. 